bit of a surprise come out the blue, hasn't it? What, what's behind it? health or poor health I should say um, he's stepping down with immediate effect on the advice of his doctors he's revealed in a statement that he went to hospital on the 29th or 27th of last month with severe chest pains and remember you'll probably remember that he's a man who's undergone uh, major heart surgery before so he had, ch had chest pains he had another heart surgery the following day on the 28th and the doctors have simply said to him that he cannot continue working um, at the same pace anymore he can't do it it's dangerous so he said in a statement on this basis, I have decided with great regret to step down from much the most demanding of my roles, that of chairman of the BBC Trust. This is a position that requires and has received from me 100% commitment and has been my priority at all times. So there was a great deal of commitment, a great deal of effort. And remember, he was the chair of the Trust during arguably the, the most difficult <clears throat> period for the BBC in recent decades when he was handling the, the fallout from the Savile <clears throat> affair. Some people don't think he did that terribly well. He's got a bullish style. Some people like it, some people don't, but uh, I, I think significant numbers of people thought he didn't handle that terribly well, um, steering the, uh, or uh, acting on behalf of the corporation or the interests of the viewers in relation to the corporation. But he's stepping down. He says um, his family support that they're looking for privacy now, but he just can't continue to do a job that's so demanding in his current state of health. Well, it's going to be interesting to see who, uh, who gets the role from him. As well, I can, you say. I can tell you, yeah. the vice chair at the moment, Diane Coyle, will take over until they find somebody to succeed him. Right. Michelle, thanks for bringing us up to speed on that one.